This is a continuation of right triangle trigonometry now using word problems. Hopefully you remember from geometry. Uh, the big thing is how we measure an angle. If we were standing on top of a cliff, the, everything is measured with respect to the horizon. And anything that is pointing up like an airplane this angle is called the angle of elevation. Anything that is seen below the horizon, like let's say there was a boat down here, we were looking at the boat, this angle is called the angle of depression. Okay, so you'll see that vocabulary as we go through these word problems. Number one says, one day Sam kicks a soccer ball so high that it goes into the clouds. To find the height of the ball in the cloud, Sam places a bright searchlight directly below the cloud and shines the beam straight up. From a point 100 feet away from the searchlight, the me she measures the angle of elevation of the cloud to be 83 degrees. How high is the cloud? So if we picture the searchlight right here, and the cloud is up there, and Sam is standing over here, a hundred and feet, hundred feet away from the searchlight. The angle of elevation, so pointing up, is going to be eighty-three degrees. Okay. In this case, the horizon is actually the ground, the floor, and so um, because the searchlight is directly below the cloud, we have a right triangle. And if we're looking for the height, height of the cloud, we can call this y. And so then we can just set up an equation for tangent of 83 equals y over 100. <clears throat> and we can multiply both sides by 100 to isolate the y. So that y will end up equaling whatever 100 times the tan of 83 is. So on my calculator, I can type that in. First, I have to make sure that I am in degree mode. And then I can type in 100 times the tan of 83. And so we get 814.434 feet. Okay. <clears throat> Number two says, one day Travis gets tired of being pestered by Henry. After school, Travis starts chasing Henry with water balloons. So Henry runs up the Stanford foothills to escape. Henry knows the biggest hill has an elevation of 500 feet. He also knows that the angle of depression from the top of the biggest hill to the base is 11 degrees. Find the length of Henry's run in miles. <clears throat> so if we picture, here's Henry, and here's the mountain, the foothill. We know that um, it has an elevation of 500 feet. So that would be this. We also know that the angle of depression from the top of the hill to the base is 11 degrees. So if Henry was standing at the top of the mountain, the horizon would be going that way. And the angle of depression, meaning looking down from the horizon, would be 11 degrees. So hopefully you remember from geometry, um, the horizon at the top and the ground should be parallel because they're both looking straight ahead. And so we know that these angles would be alternate interior and therefore congruent. So we know that that should be 11. And we're looking for the length of Henry's run, which would be this. So I can set up an equation for um, to find x, maybe by using sine of 11 equals opposite, which is 500, over hypotenuse, which is x. And then we can just solve for x. I would probably multiply both sides by x. So I get x times the sine of 11 equals 500, and then isolate the x by dividing by sine 11.
do we get x equals whatever 500 divided by the sine of 11 is? So we type that in our calculator. Two thousand six hundred and twenty point four two one feet. The last problem we'll do, we'll do the ones in the back in class together. Um, it says Fatai comes to rescue Henry in a helicopter. The helicopter flies in a horizontal pattern. The angle of elevation from Henry to the helicopter is 28 degrees. 20 seconds later, the helicopter has moved 200 feet. At that point, the angle of elevation to the helicopter is 48 degrees. Find the height of the helicopter. So um, we'll say that Henry is right here. And the helicopter is, we'll say, Fatai is right there. And Fatai is moving in a horizontal pattern. So in a few seconds, she will end up right there. It says the angle of elevation from Henry to the helicopter. So remember, we have to draw the horizon for Henry. And then the angle of elevation would be looking up. So this angle here would be 28 degrees. 20 seconds later, the helicopter has moved 200 feet. And now, the angle of elevation is 48 degrees. So if I draw a line to Henry, this bigger angle is going to be 48 degrees. And I'm asking for the height of the helicopter, which should be the same. Both of those are heights. So it might help if we draw the two triangles apart. So um, here is the little triangle. So this angle here is 48 degrees. And this is the height. And why don't we call this side x? In the bigger triangle, we know that this angle here is 28 degrees. This is h. And this bottom side actually represents this whole thing here, which should be, if we know this is 200, this should be x plus 200. So if I set up an equation for the triangle on the left, I would say something like the tangent of 48 is equal to the opposite, which is h, over the adjacent, which is x. But if you notice, I have two variables. So that means I'm going to have to use the second triangle to set up a second equation. So why don't we say the tangent of 28 is equal to the opposite, which in this case is h, over the hypotenuse, which is x plus 200. If I multiply both sides by x in the first equation, I would end up with h equaling x times the tan of 48. And if I multiply both sides in the second equation by x plus 200, I would end up with x plus 200 times the 10 of 28 equaling h. And so if you notice, both of those equations are equal to h. So I actually could set the equations equal to each other. And I'm also going to distribute the tan 28. So I would get x times the tan tangent of 28 plus 200 times the tangent of 28. So my goal is to get the x's together. So I am going to subtract x times the tangent of 28 from both sides. Now I actually could plug in these on my calculator and figure out what the tangent of 48 is, as well as the tangent of 28. But then we have to worry about all those decimals. So let's hang on to that for a second. Um, these are going to disappear. And I will end up with 200 times the tan of 28. 
And so now I can actually do this, right? So multiplying x times the tangent of 48, and then I'm subtracting x times the tangent of 28, really means that I am just subtracting the two of tangents together. So the tangent of 48 minus the tangent of 28 gives me 0.578. So this is 0.578x. And then to get x, I would just divide both sides by 0.578. So I would end up with x equaling 200 times the tan of 28 divided by that. And I get 183.695. But remember that I asked you to find the height of the helicopter. So we actually need to find out what h is. So we could certainly use this equation again and just um, figure out what h equals. Maybe I'll do it over here. h would be um, 183.695 times the tangent of 48. And then I can just have that in my calculator. We get 204.014. And that's my answer. Okay, so why don't you read the problems on the back and we will go over them together in class.